The Duke Blue Devils hired Mike Elko, defensive coordinator from Texas A&M. And again, I think it's a good hire. This is a really, really smart guy. Everybody has known that Mike Elko is incredibly intelligent. A long, long coaching career, well over two decades at this point. Played at Penn University, of course, Ivy League guy. He's super smart, super smart. And everybody kind of wondered when was it going to be Mike Elko's turn to get one of these head coaching jobs. This seems like a good spot for him. Remember, he does have ACC uh, credentials. He does know the landscape of that league. He was at Wake Forest from 2014 through 2016, spent a year at Notre Dame, and then has spent the last four years with Jimbo Fisher. I I don't know that you were going to get a whole lot better grooming than from Dave Clawson in the ACC. So, again, he understands the landscape. But from Dave Clawson, a year with Brian Kelly, and then four years with Jimbo Fisher. That's not bad. Like, those are three incredibly successful coaches. He's already known as a defensive guru. At Duke, you certainly need some help scheming on that side of the ball. And Mike Oko is a schemer. You need somebody that will scheme them up at Duke. That's what you have to have. So I am absolutely on board with this hire. Uh, I, I think he's he's about as good as you could have ever expected. Uh, maybe a better hire than I would have anticipated, especially with all the talk about Jason Garrett. right? I mean, what, what in the world was that about? I, I love Mike Elko. Uh, when we all saw Clark Lee get a job last year at Vanderbilt, everybody wondered because Clark Lee's mentor was Mike Elko. That job just happened to fit perfectly for Clark Lee. He, of course, played at Vanderbilt. But... I do like this situation for Mike Elko. I think he's going to be there for a very, very long time. This is very much set up where you don't have to worry about your job. You have job security unless it all completely falls in the tank. He's going to be there for as long as he wants to be there. He has time. Duke has patience. They are not so worried about their football program that they're going to be firing him after three years if they don't have a winning season at that point. I think he's going to be just fine. I think he's going to be just fine. So cheers to Duke. You, I think you hit the nail on the head with this one. Cheers to you guys for knocking this out of the park. Good, good hire. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.